Hollywood royalty collided with real-life royalty, or at least attempted to, this weekend when Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, reportedly crashed Roblo's star-studded 60th birthday bash. Details are still emerging, but one thing seems certain, this wasn't a fairy tale ending for Meghan. According to sources, Markle arrived uninvited at the Santa Barbara soiree, which boasted a list of attendees like Cameron Diaz, Chris Pratt, and Robert Downey Jr. While whispers of a feud between the Duchess and Lowe have swirled online for years, the exact reason for her unwelcome appearance remains unclear. Was it a desperate attempt to rub shoulders with Hollywood elite, a meticulously orchestrated publicity stunt, or perhaps a genuine, albeit misguided effort to celebrate with a former acquaintance? Regardless of her motive, security reportedly met Markle at the door and politely but firmly denied her entry. News of the incident has sent shockwaves through the celebrity gossip world, with many questioning Markle's judgment and social etiquette. Here's a deeper dive into the social snafu and the questions it raises about the Duchess's place in Hollywood. The internet is rife with speculation about Markle's intentions. Some social media users allege this was a calculated move to generate publicity for the Duchess, who has kept a relatively low profile since stepping down from senior royal duties. They point to Markle's history of self-promotion and her penchant for orchestrating media attention. Others paint a picture of a delusional duchess out of touch with her celebrity status and oblivious to social cues. This wouldn't be the first time Markle has reportedly faced exclusion. Rumors have dogged the duchess for years, suggesting frosty relations with Hollywood artists like George and Amal Clooney and Beyonce and Jay-Z. Markle's past career as an actress may have put her in the same circles as these celebrities, but it seems some bridges may have been burned. Duchess has cultivated a brand of philanthropy and social activism, often using her platform to advocate for various causes. However, some critics find this approach self-serving and inauthentic. Perhaps Markle believed a similar tactic would work at Lowe's party. Crashing the event, they speculate might have been a ploy to insert herself into a philanthropic conversation or use the star power in the room to promote her own projects. This incident only adds fuel to the fire of criticisms that Markle is entitled and out of touch. The idea of a duchess crashing a private party reeks of privilege and a lack of respect for personal boundaries. It further reinforces the narrative of the woman struggling to adjust to a life outside the royal spotlight. The fallout from this incident could have lasting repercussions for the Sussexes in Hollywood. After all, Hollywood thrives on connections and reputation. If Markle is seen as difficult to work with, she could become a social liability. It could hinder future career opportunities for both her and Prince Harry. Whether it was a calculated move or a social misstep, Meghan Markle's uninvited appearance at Rob Lowe's birthday party paints a less than flattering picture. It reinforces perceptions of an entitled duchess struggling to navigate a world outside the royal realm. Only time will tell if this incident is a blip on the radar or a turning point in the Sussex's Hollywood aspirations.